Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Namaskar. In this series, our next topic is intervention programs. If we review various definitions of positive psychology, one of them is positive psychology is the scientific study of optimal human functioning which aims to discover and promote factors that allow individuals and communities to thrive. So, in this section, we discover and promote those factors that help us to thrive. In this direction, there are various studies related to intervention programs and these studies recommending that adaptation and validation of existing intervention programs need to be undertaken. However, mere adaptation is not enough in some unique settings, but activities and interpretation of results needs to be done in the light of culture specificity. And in this section, I will talk about cultural issues. We can divide such kind of researches in three sections. One, deliberately delivered intervention modules to promote well-being or we can say traditional positive psychology intervention programs. Second, lay strategies where we may ask people what do they think which activities could increase their level of happiness. Third, to study existing socio-cultural and religious spiritual practices in the society to promote well-being. If we take example of Indian setting, then there are several socio-cultural uh, factors like Rahagiri day in Delhi and Haryana. I will discuss in detail about it later. And religious spiritual practices, for example, 5 to 7 days residential programs are there from Sahaj Marg. Art of Living Foundation, Isha Foundation, etc. And uh, I think these uh, programs have uh, specific changes or significant impact on well-being indicators. So, such kind of studies could be conducted in this direction. When I am talking about uh, intervention programs, I think we should take uh, this uh, model into account once again, where uh, it has been mentioned that uh, there is 50 percent set point or we can say that is our nature and difficult to change for happiness or for other positive psychology constructs. On the other hand, this model saying that 10 percent role of circumstances, on the other hand 40 percent role of intentional activities. So, in this section our objective is to explore all those intentional activities which could help us to improve happiness, well-being and other positive psychology constructs. Let us take first area in this direction that is positive psychology interventions. Uh, I have taken one meta-analytic research in which they have explored number of uh, uh, intervention strategies which have been used in various researches. These strategies are resilience improving exercises optimism and gratitude exercise, doing acts of kindness, writing about positive experiences, practicing gratitude by counting one's blessings, writing about best possible selves, rehearsal of positive statements, thinking about positive life experiences, hopeful goal directing thinking, self-management, positive bibliotherapy, the use of selected reading materials as therapeutic messages cultivating secret moments, solution focused coaching, life coaching and attaining of goals, use your strength in a new way, working for wellness program, positive future thinking, projecting a positive self in the future. Some other strategies like savoring the moment, strength exercises, positive thinking, life coaching and attainment of goals, positive writing. By knowing all these strategies, then scholars actually decide or prepare a tailor-made program for certain study. For example, they could select out of all these strategies package of 4, 
may be package of 6 or 8 positive psychology exercise such as active constructive responding, gratitude visit, life summary, 3 good things, savoring, strengths etc. Or on the other hand in another model or another study they have selected 3 good things, signature strengths, self compassion, optimism, compassionate etc. So, like that they could have various strategies and out of them uh, may decide to select some of them for their research purposes. Positive psychology intervention programs are quite famous in college setting, in school settings, web based intervention programs are available and uh, various other uh, settings like in uh, you know communities and societies we have certain intervention programs and study their effectiveness. So, let us understand this area with certain researches which are conducted by our group. One research which is uh, you know part of uh, Pulkit Khanna's thesis do all positive psychology exercises work for everyone. This research is replication of Seligman's and his associates interventions program. The present study aimed to replicate the widely popular positive psychological interventions of Seligman's and his associates uh, intervention modules in a different culture and demographic groups of Indian adolescents. So, their intervention program which was established and published in 2005 was replicated here in Indian setting. For this purposes we selected 372 students, their mean age was uh, 12.73 and strength deviation 0.98, their age range was 11 to 13 years, out of them 56 percent uh, were males and remaining females and this study was conducted in two schools. Participating classroom were randomized across 5 interventions, 3 good things in life, gratitude visit, you at your best, using signature strengths and using signature strengths in a new way and one placebo control group recalling early memories was there. So, uh, I think if you know about this research paper, this is, these are the strategies along with this placebo control group they have compared. Uh, each exercise was completed over one week, self reported measures of well being, affect, happiness and depressive symptoms were obtained at pre and post testing. I think you know about it, in all intervention programs we have three phases, first phase pre testing, second phase when we deliver our intervention programs and third phase post testing and in such kind of researches we compare pre and post testing participants who undertook the gratitude visit and signature strength based interventions reported gains or higher level in well being, life satisfaction and happiness at post testing. Interventions involving only self reflection and journaling showed no statistical significant impact on outcome variables. None of the interventions led to perceived gain in scores of depressive symptoms. So, to some extent we observed different results in Indian setting. Let us take another example to understand how intervention programs work. Recently we have conducted an experiment by considering intervention programs and it happened at two places at Facebook uh, our NPPA website as well as in classroom setting. That is why this study has two sections, a web based psycho spiritual intervention program for college students and a psycho spiritual intervention program for college students in classroom setting. In this program we had 14 recorded sessions and these sessions were 25 to 30 minutes each. In these sessions there was a combination of applied sources of positive psychology thought provoking videos of Indian spiritual leaders that is why we are calling it psycho spiritual intervention program. Videos of motivational speakers and animated based uh, short videos were also included in this plan and by considering all these three I recorded 14 sessions. We try to follow an edutainment approach. So, once again because I will discuss this study in detail, we had 14 recorded session and in these sessions uh, we use some uh, videos which were from spiritual domain 
or from motivational speakers. And along with uh, these two applied sources of positive psychology I discussed in these videos and 14 sessions were recorded and at uh, Facebook these were uh, delivered one by one as well as in classroom setting. You could see here we conducted this study at Facebook. Second, in classroom setting could see some photographs when they are participating in testing, when they are watching these videos and here I am debriefing after the research about the results. So, in this case we had 14 sessions as I mentioned. Session 1 was related to connection between thinking style and well-being, second on time management, third on stress management. Then I had various sessions on happiness and different aspects of happiness I discussed in these sessions. And then intelligence and emotional intelligence, 11th session was on emotional well-being, then motivation and well-being and 13th uh, session was on depression and well-being and then at the end uh, overall well-being videos which we used in this study were from Gaiwich, Emotional Hygiene, an Algorithm for Happiness, Sadhguru's videos focused on interpersonal relations we had in this video. You watched this video during happiness uh, chapter, Who Am I? From Vivekananda's certain motivational stories we borrowed and about character strengths as well as some small programs or small messages. For example, Apne Sukh Aur Dukh Ka Rachieta Kaun and it is very interesting small clip which we have taken here which is from Mahabharata. So like that we try to strengthen our psychological messages with the help of spiritual and motivational speakers. Let us know in detail about all these sessions and knowing about these sessions would help in two ways. One, you could see how it is uh, how we have certain intervention programs. Second, if you are researcher and thinking to have research in this area, then you could get certain ideas what kind of intervention programs we can develop. So, session one, connection between thinking style and well being we had. Here, I mainly focus on connection between thoughts, emotions, and behavior. Individual uh, differences in thinking and cognition, optimistic versus pessimistic thinking and cognitive behavioral therapy, how these therapies works. And in supporting videos, we had Apne Sukh Dukh Ke Rachieta Kaun, uh, Your Life Is In Your Hands from Vivekanand's story, Life Is 10 percent of what you make it and 90 percent of how you take it. Session 2 was on time management. Here I focused on time management, its benefits, process and steps and discussed about Skinner's five main obstacles in learning and strategies to overcome them. Time management and self-management strategies were discussed in this session. And in supporting videos, marshmallow test, I think you could recall during experimental methods you watched this video. Who am I from Vivekanand sayings showing seeds of life was another uh, motivational video. In session 3, stress management, stress, stresses, use stress and distress differences, mind body connections, biopsychosocial model was discussed here and uh, gas model th that is general adaptation syndrome model of uh, stress was discussed and uh, its uh, usefulness, effects of stress, stress and task performance, individual differences in which we focused on personality factors like optimism, pessimism, type A personality, neuroticism, hardiness. So, we discussed about the stress prone as well as stress proof personalities and coping with stress. So, here supporting videos were a glass of water, how heavy is it? an animated story that is in this story they are saying that if we have something in our hand. So, if it is say for longer period or for very longer period no matter how light it is, but it is stressful for us and if it is for longer period then it may be very harmful for us. One another uh, Sadhguru's message was there antidote to stress. Then we shifted on happiness. And first of all, I discussed about various models which I have discussed here also in your this course. So, World Happiness Report was discussed, you know economic indicators are not sufficient for gauging the 
overall development of nations, Indian Asian Buddhist perspective of happiness, peace of mind, harmony, uh, subjective well being, then Parma model, self acceptance and positive evaluation of oneself and uh, one's past. So, these all factors were discussed in the video. And in the next one, fundamental happiness paradox, benefits of happiness, I think you can easily connect with it uh, your course, because I have uh, covered all these topics in your course. Uh, brain and happiness, formula for happiness and the happiness advantage, you must be knowing about it now. What determines happiness, a recipe for happiness by a dinner. So, all those topics were discussed in this uh, session. After that, we shifted on applications of happiness and uh, in the session 6, happiness and quality of life, connection between facilities, technology, wealth and happiness, wave of positive uh, you know behavior, happiness as a precursor of success and uh, here uh, some videos like what is happiness, learn how to be happy in your life, happiness is helping others and uh, an algorithm for happiness was uh, certain videos which they watched along with this information. In the seventh session, Maslow's hierarchy of theories, inner re-engineering, uh, humans are programmed to grow, how other influence our behavior, our own negative thoughts, the trigger to our negative mood state, these all aspects of uh, our behavior were discussed. Along with all these aspects, enjoy every moment of your life by Himesh, uh, a motivational speaker, do not put your key to happiness in someone else's pocket. Uh, Sadhguru's message was there, steps for happiness from Sandeep Maheshwari. In next session, eighth one, again happiness, but another aspects of happiness like mindfulness and how it is linked with happiness. Benefits of meditation, how meditation works and repairing additive stress. Then there were some supporting videos from mindfulness. Uh, like Gautam Buddha's inspiring story, Dhyan or Lab was another video which was included in this session, how to meditate, mindfulness meditation. So, such kind of videos were supporting in this session. Session 9, happiness and well-being again the same one, but another aspects of happiness, where happy habits were discussed and in this class also, I will discuss about certain happy th habits. Happy habits while dealing with others, characteristics of happy people and the golden triangle of happiness was discussed here. Supporting video was the science of character. I think you have watched this video. Uh, session 10th was intelligence and emotional intelligence. So, we discussed about intelligence and IQ, can we change IQ, emotional intelligence and EQ, can we change EQ, emotional quotient, uh, triachic theory of intelligence and then mixed model of emotional intelligence we discussed here. Uh, I think now you know about all these aspects because that has been part of your course. And here related videos or supporting videos were on emotional intelligence and the skill our students deserve that is emotional intelligence. Then emotional well being where we focused mainly on emotional hygiene, thoughts, emotions, behavior, what are the connections among these three, happiness and positive emotions, emotional and social well being were, was discussed here as well as emotional first aid for psychological injuries, loneliness, social support, thinking errors and various other aspects we discussed here. Again, I think you have uh, was this video emotional hygiene, how to avoid negativity again by Himesh that video was included in this session. In session 12th, it was motivation and well being and here I focused mainly on motivation, motivation its meaning, intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, autotelic personality, influence of motivation on happiness and well being self-determination theory, autonomy, competence and relatedness I discussed in this section, self and related concept, the role of our inner voice I discussed in this section and supporting videos were why you should never lose hope, life means struggle, life changing motivational videos were the part of this session. Then the 13th one was on depression and well-being, because 
positive psychology is not saying always positive aspects only. If we know certain other things are hampering our well-being, I think we should include even in positive psychological interventions. You know, nowadays depression is increasing like anything in our society. So that is why I decided to add one session on depression. In this session, I included depression, let us talk psychosomatic somatopsychological disorders, depression, the silent killer symptoms and the need for it awareness, seeking help online and offline, I discussed various models over there, awakening the mind mood disorder, how to stop worrying and start living. So, these were the supporting videos in this session. At the last, overall well-being was addressed, yoga and meditation as tools for well-being and there are some uh, very interesting videos and I will recommend you must watch these videos to have better understanding of human nature. Where Dr. Lisa Rankin talking about mind over medicine, uh, pink medicine revolution, are you making yourself sick? And in all these videos actually she is against medicines and she is saying that if you have psychological reasons of your problems then you should sort out those psychological reasons rather you are eating medicines. In this section I focused on digital mindfulness and digital meditation also. Supporting videos were Ye Kya Keh Diya, Dr. Ujwal Patni's message. In this message actually he is criticizing today's education system. He is saying that we are not able to develop overall view of our personality. Another video was on do not allow your life to be controlled by these five things. So, like that we discussed about psychological factors as well as supported those factors through uh, spiritual literature as well as motivational speakers. The original source and creator of all the videos have been given proper acknowledgement in this uh, in these uh, recorded videos and we actually delivered this module as well as did pre and post testing in Hindi. So, mainly this program was for Hindi speaking population. Hindi subtitles have been added to all the videos where we were not able to provide it in Hindi. As you know, this intervention program has been delivered on two groups, first Facebook group and second classroom setting group. In the first group, there were 42 participants and in another one, 308 their age wise you could see all of them were college students, first year to fourth year students. So, in both cases this intervention program was delivered for college students. Measures or psychological test which have been used here for pre and post testing, these tests were mental well being scale, you know general well being scale, thriving scale, life satisfaction, peace of mind. A Kenner Davidson resilience scale, depression and anxiety and stress scale. In this study, we also collected data by using open ended questions. So, pre testing participants also responded to a set of questions on the factors influencing their level of happiness and the behavior changes they want to bring in themselves. For post testing, open ended questions related to intervention programs we added. Group number 2, I did debriefing sessions and uh, in these sessions I discussed about results as well as benefits of such kind of programs. Participants of the first group completed a set of measures during pre-intervention and post-intervention as well as uh, during follow-up which happened after 21 days. And the second group completed a set of measures during pre and post testing only. Let us discuss about results. So, first of all Facebook group or group number 1, if you just see their results on different indicators, we observe that harmony in life and uh, resilience scale, these two are not significant except these two, we can say their mental well being changed positively, general well being improved, thriving improved, their peace of mind improved as well as their depression, anxiety, stress, total score deteriorated or reduced here. So, uh, these results are favorable and showing that yes, there were some significant changes in their well being indicators.
if we compare pre-testing and follow-up scores which happened after 21 days. So, again these are significant changes and could see again except resilience all other variables have been improved positively. For example, mental well-being, general well-being, thriving, peace of mind, harmony in life all have been improved during this period. On the other hand, depression, anxiety, stress reduced when we compare pre-testing and follow-up. So, we can say there was significant change during follow-up. On the other hand, when we compare post-testing and follow-up, you just see very interesting results are there. After post-testing, there were no changes in their well-being, neither positively nor negatively. So, to some extent, their level of well-being or well-being indicators level was stable even after 21 days. In the second study, which happened in classroom setting. When we compare pre-testing and post-testing, again we are getting good results and observed that all well-being indicators except depression, anxiety, stress, they improved their well-being on various well-being indicators. We also tested pre-testing of these two groups and observed that group number 2 is better in almost all cases as compared to group number 1. You could see group number 1 has poorer well-being as compared to group number 2. On the other hand, they have quite high level of depression anxiety stress score compared to group 2. These results suggest us to take into account pre-testing of various groups if we are doing group comparisons. As you know, we had qualitative data also. So, let us discuss about this qualitative data. In this qualitative data, we ask various questions like perceived facilitators of happiness of Indian college students. So, we asked what do you think, what are the facilitators of happiness? They reported various responses. Here you could see number. However, in this presentation, I will focus more on these factors only. So, these are percentage of responses. Percentage of responses means if someone has given three responses. So, we counted three responses of this person and in this case total responses versus particular domains responses multiplied by 100 and this way we uh, have calculated here percentage of responses. Once again, I would like to clarify it. It is percentage of total uh, percentage of responses, not total percentage of participants. So, for example, one person has given three responses in one category. His three responses have been counted, rather this person's participation as a one person. So, it is percentage of total responses versus responses in this category and multiplied by 100. So, in this category we observed that facilitators of happiness in this category which were pursued by these college students were healthy interpersonal relationships, a sense of accomplishment, engagement in leisure time activities, positive personality traits, good academic performance, pro-social behavior, seeing others happy, engagement in meaningful and productive work, health and lifestyle oriented factors, new learning and experiences, fulfillment of parental expectations, inner peace, spending time nature, spending time with oneself, financial security, positive feedback from others, effective time management, social media, uh, praying, etc were the factors which they have highlighted as facilitator of well-being. Then our next question was on inhibitors. They observed that negative emotions, negative thinking, uh, personal failure, negative behavior of others, stress, social issues and inequalities, financial constraints, staying away from family, poor study habits, poor time management conflicts in interpersonal relationships, uh, difficulty in life, unhappiness of others, uh, lack of self-confidence, breakdown of interpersonal trust, poor academic performance, physical illness, criticism, poor lifestyle, loneliness, mobile phone, future-oriented 
worries, poor English communication skills and some miscellaneous factors they have highlighted. On the other hand, when we ask positive behavior changes they want to make in their themselves or in their life, then they focused on developing good study habits and work ethics, positive thinking, better emotional regulation, effective time and stress management, good behavior, work on self-confidence, health and lifestyle oriented changes, achieving personal goals, contributing to the betterment of society, building healthier interpersonal relationships, being empathetic and non-judgmental, greater knowledge acquisition, greater engagement in leisure time activities, keeping away from negative influences, prioritizing oneself over others, adapting to changing circumstances and some miscellaneous factors they have highlighted. During post-testing, we ask, do you feel the present program has the potential to improve the well-being of college students? You just see uh, in the first group, 44%, uh, 100% uh, participants uh, said yes. On the other hand, in second group, 88% students said yes and some students did not respond except one student. Have you participated in programs like this before? We observed that most of them did not participate. For example, here 37 students saying that they did not and here 205 students. On the other hand, 65 students participated and 38 did not respond on this question. Would you like to participate in such type of programs in the future? Most of them said yes. This side you could see 43 and this side you could see 267 students said yes, they wanted to participate in such kind of programs even in future. Which aspect of this program did you like? They said, uh, you know, sessions on happiness. They liked sessions on time and stress management, positive behavioral changes, inclusion of videos of motivational speaker, importance of positive thinking, role of meditation and yoga in well-being. They highlighted positive feeling and greater self-confidence, uh, awareness on depression. They liked self-knowledge and some miscellaneous factors they highlighted. Uh, we also asked suggestions for improvement in future intervention programs. They said positive feedback, regularity, greater outreach programs could be there, uh, addition of more topics, they suggested duration of his sessions, discussion of problems uh, relevant to students, equipment related problems they highlighted and nature of speech, they said more motivational way of speaking could be there, uh, video related things they discuss, inclusion of more videos of Indian motivational speakers, greater information about the research studies that we mentioned, gap between the sessions, they said there was very less gap between the sessions. So, such kind of uh, suggestions they have highlighted for this program. When we ask about suggested topics for future interventions. They said time and stress management topics, motivation and academic achievement, self and related processes, positive thinking, emotions and emotional regulation on depression, human behavior, problem solving and strategies and coping, uh, self confidence, peaceful and harmonious living, interpersonal relationships, personality. On these topics we could add some more. Similarly, we had another research which happened in 2009. It was in classroom setting where uh, we focused more on self-management, inter and external locus of control, ways of boosting the moral and self-esteem. So, uh, we had again uh, 14 sessions in classroom setting. In lieu of tutorial, we uh, delivered these modules. That was my positive psychology course. And uh, in this course here at IIT Delhi, we have, uh, you know, classes as well as tutorials. And in each session or each uh, semester, we have 14 sessions of tutorial classes. So, in these 14 classes, in first class, I introduced this intervention program as well as did pre-testing. And in the last 
I uh, did post testing and in between in uh, 12 sessions or 12 classes I delivered various modules as well as I had number of assignments related to this intervention program only and uh, uh, we got promising results by this intervention program. So, in this uh, intervention program our focus was on self management where I discussed about introspect and retrospect uh, your life, self talk, accurate uh, self knowledge, emotional cognitive behavioral things were discussed, purpose in life, perceived self, ideal self and actual self discrepancies and all those things I discussed in the this module, where are you spending your energy, what is important to you, immediate delayed gratification was discussed through experiment actually we discussed it in detail. In another session, I discussed about internal and external locus of control as a key of uh, self management, optimism, progressive muscles, relaxation were discussed, physical exercise and meditation as self management activities. So, through all these activities, we I just highlighted how in positive psychology researches, these activities are helping us to have better well being. In the next session, ways of boosting their morale and self esteem related uh, messages we had and happy thoughts, happy emotions, best possible selves were discussed, writing about three good things happened and done by them and all those factors like on humor we had uh, discussion. Interpersonal focus strategies were discussed, uh, gratitude, forgiveness, uh, altruistic behavior and empathy to others. Students were asked to review their religion, customs, traditions and ask uh, how uh, they observe certain religious practices or customs or traditions which may help us to have better well being. For example, if you know about Jain religion, they have one day called Shamayachna. On this day, they uh, ask their near and dear people to forgive them if they have done something bad with them. Time management, stress management, relationship management and emotional intelligence perspective were discussed in different sessions and we observed promising results. We observed on certain well-being indicators, students improved their well-being. After discussing this section, our concluding comments are positive educational initiative. Based on the present findings, we recommend the inclusion of such type of interventions as part of the traditional academic curriculum in higher educational institutes in India. Standardized intervention programs we could have. You know about uh, the psychological test and we have uh, discussed again and again about their standardization, about their psychometric properties. Could we have some standardized intervention programs? and we have their validation and people could easily adapt them or could replicate in different settings because these are already standardized intervention programs. So, we have to have some standardized intervention programs so that next researcher or new researchers could them use as it is or if they want to have some adaptation they could do that. Next point is positive technology and its use. Uh, you know technology is quite advanced now it is and we people could use technology to deliver our intervention programs. However, there were some limitations in these studies like inclusion of a control group which was not there can be included in future research, debriefing of web based group may be there through a live Facebook session or maybe some more follow up testing in classroom setting could be there. So, to some extent there were certain limitations of these researches and in future researches these things can be overcome by having some additional control group or some other sessions live Facebook sessions or some more follow up to have more scientific and rigorous research. Second area here is some lay strategies for improving happiness and well-being. Uh, there are various studies which are talking about happy habits or happiness increasing activity. In such kind of uh, researches, they just ask lay person, what do you think, what are the happiness increasing activities and then they prepare a list and then in future they may ask 
tick which activities you follow for getting higher level of happiness. So, in this case they observed that at individual level uh, the highlighted happy habits or happiness increasing activities are pursuing goals that are important to me, being optimist 68.4 percent highlighted uh, this activity, doing physical exercise or sports, savoring life's joys, acting like a happy person, uh, doing activities that make me feel in the moment, practicing religion and spirituality, using strategies that help me cope with stress and adversity. Similarly, some more uh, strategies like avoiding overthinking and comparing myself to others, practicing meditation and uh, there were some happy habits while uh, dealing with others like practicing acts of kindness towards others, expressing gratitude, nurturing my social relationships, forgiving others. These are the strategies which are perceived by laymen or perceived by the people as happiness increasing activities or happy habits we can say and then they prepared a checklist and in next researches by using this checklist one could study which activities are highlighted as happy habits. So, that could be another type of research to highlight what are the activities which help us to improve well being and these are the perceived activities by the participants which they think they may improve their well being. In this category third section is religious spiritual or socio cultural strategies. Again in this area I will support this domain with some of our researches. First of all just revision of previous information as you know we have already discussed about yoga meditation and intervention programs and I highlighted in one of the class that Maharishi University of Management has conducted number of researches. Over 500 studies have been completed on the physiological, psychological and sociological effects of the Maharishi Transcendental Meditation and TM Siddhi program making it perhaps the most intensively studied technology in the field of human development. These studies have been conducted at 210 different universities and research institutes in 27 countries and articles have now appeared in more than 100 scientific journals. On the other hand, we also discussed about various type of meditation like focusing concentrating meditation, opening up uh, or mindfulness meditation, asking or contemplative meditation which we have already discussed in details. Here to put this information message is studies on effectiveness of yoga and meditation may possibly come under this category. So, when we are saying religious spiritual practices and happiness or uh, positive psychology then yoga meditational practices could be part of this area. Now, some very local strategies I think I discussed about this research paper, but here in detail I would like to discuss with you so that you can understand how socio cultural practices could contribute to our well being and these local practices we must highlight because these are from very much our culture. In this research satsang a culture specific effective practice for well being. We published this research paper in this book the positive nations and communities. Let us discuss this research. This research is second part of this research paper. In this section our research question was does singing folk songs acts as music therapy intervention uh, especially singing bhajan in satsang. For this research a group of 25 to 30 women participants almost every day were interviewed as well as we had focus group discussion. Their mean age was 55 years range 45 to 85, 45 years 8 members were there and even 85 years old 4 members were there. Education wise 10th pass with the teaching training 50 percent, 8 to 12 pass homemakers were 25 and some of them were uneducated. Occupation status 
right now all of them were homemakers however some of them were retired school teachers and they go in different parks they sit there and do satsang so you could see some photographs for example these women singing songs and educated women retired school teachers help to recall new songs new bhajans by reading during singing you could see some copies available here diaries available here uh, come with their accessories like water bottle stick items for sitting comfortably in some cases they come with their grandchildren and uh, this way they are contributing to the family also on auspicious occasions a group is invited to members house for satsang so they just go each other's home whenever is required they share prasad and donation money in some cases and prasad daily after uh, satsang and this is not only one group but there are various groups you could see especially in north india especially in haryana because this study has been conducted uh, from haryana only so you could see another group singing uh, songs or uh, doing satsang in this research i did a interview as well as focus group discussions and observed that these are the themes which they have and quite facilitating themes these are to psychological well-being for example in uh, uh, interviews and focus group discussions the themes emerged uh, free from stresses during singing they are they have healthier interpersonal relations and this period because they come outside uh, from uh, their houses so that's why entertainment of the day can be counted this activity they have strong social support and family contribution because some of them come with their grandchildren women's visit outside and actively involved pro social behavior because on various occasions religious occasions they donate money uh, they donate money to anath ashram gaushala or varid ashram so they collect from everyone and then collected money they send to these ashrams and to some extent because that's the last stage of our life to feel purpose of life to do satsang singing religious spiritual songs sharing with same age group uh, that is also promoting well being so i observed that these are the factors which are connected with these women and that's why they have better psychological well being and in this research one more point which i have mentioned over there do they need to go through intervention module for enhancing their well being or should we highlight benefits of such type of socio cultural activities in our society in this series we did another research research was on religious and spiritual messages in folk songs what do they sing in these songs so it has been reported in various studies that music in general and satsang singing folk songs in a group in particular has a positive effect on well being uh, the present paper focuses on an analysis of what the rural women sing in the songs in satsang and how it is facilitating well being the study area is haryana a state in india content analysis of these songs has been done after categorizing them broadly into three categories uh, songs that number 1 sing praise of gods and goddesses to sing about uh, incidents from scriptures and third category was songs that convey spiritual or religious messages in this research we focused on the third part songs that convey spiritual or religious messages the paper has explored the way in disseminate spiritual religious knowledge through folk songs in the local rural society let's understand it with this example here you could see and i discussed this model earlier also uh, broadly messages kaam krodh mo lob ahankar reduce our happiness and you just see how in this sample song same message has been uh, delivered in this research paper one of our sample bhajan or folk song was सखी ये पांच बड़े बलवान विचार रहे संसार में ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ दिस सॉन्ग इज ओ माई डियर फ्रेंड लोभ ग्रीड मो अटैचमेंट क्रोध काम एंड अहंकार मीन्स लोभ मो 
क्रोध काम एंड अहंकार दीज आर द फाइव मोस्ट पावरफुल वाइसिस दैट आर वॉन्टरिंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दे आर द मोस्ट पावरफुल एनिमीज ऑफ मैन काइंड एज दे लीड टू हिज टोटल डिस्ट्रेक्शन we proceed to all sorts of grief and misery due to these vices and then this song saying stanza by stanza first stanza saying that lobe or greed uh, is the first among them the deadly vice of uh, greed leads to inordinate desire for wealth and materialistic possessions because of which the man always remains dissatisfied in second stanza song is saying the voice of moho or uh, attachment leads to excessive attachment and involvement with the family that results in the neglect of spiritual life third crowth anger results in irrational behavior quarrels and violence and destroys peace and harmony within the family next calm is sinful and its outcome is shame and misery one doesn't care uh, for the social norms or respect and dignity and degrades oneself the last one ahankar or ego is proud and arrogant and leads to a, a person's fall ego is the worst of all the vices so you just see the model which is existing in psychology existing in bhagavad gita existing in our religious literature how it simply has been uh, sung in these uh, folk songs or bhajans we have various other experiments in this direction for example we have one phd thesis by dr roshni satcher where she has actually studied effectiveness of a buddhist practice and in this practice this practice is soka gakkai internationals buddhist practice and she studied Uh, effectiveness of this practice and had various uh, you know well being indicators uh, for in this study like psychological well being and some other factors uh, of well being well being index general psychological health gratitude wisdom etc and she collected data from india european countries and usa of practitioners and non practitioners and in her research findings she observed that SGI Buddhist practitioners have significantly higher scores on all positive psychological factors of well-being index general psychological health total score of uh, psychological well-being as well as its six dimensions gratitude and total wisdom and its dimensions dimensions were reflective affective and cognitive as compared to non uh, practitioners so in this study she observed that practitioners of this group had better well-being indicators compared to non-practitioners she also compared nations because she collected data from three groups india european countries and usa and observed that indian samples scored significantly higher on general psychological health and uh, american Uh, samples scored significantly higher on psychological well-being on the other hand some other variables like well-being index gratitude wisdom were uh, not any significance as per different countries data one more study again to focus on uh, the religious spiritual practices this is uh, again a thesis and this paper is from narendra arya's thesis impact of five day spiritual practices in himalayas ashram of sesmark on uh, well being related parameters and selected physiological indicators this study is based on effectiveness of this particular program impact of five days spiritual practice in himalaya ashram of sesmark on well being related parameters and selected physiological indicators has been studied on 55 participants 25 male and 30 female age range was 18 to 65 years the results of the self reported measures suggested that there was 
improvement after practice in uh, mental health as well as its dimension emotional and social uh, positive negative experiences and uh, experiences balance on Sachidanand on depression anxiety and stress however uh, he observed that on flourishing on psychological well-being from mental health continuum and mindfulness uh, didn't show any significant impact let's discuss one more very interesting study again from rural india this study is associations between religious spiritual practices and well-being in indian elderly rural women in this research we have highlighted three research questions number one what changes in health and well-being of uh, rural indian women are associated with engaging in a culturally tailored intervention that combined physiotherapy relaxation exercises and satsang and in the second question we studied difference between non-practitioner and practitioners of existing traditions or can say religious spiritual groups like satsang brahm kumaris and Ra radha swami group uh, third question was how do the rural women perceive and describe factors that contribute to their uh, happiness this section we have explored two times already so i'll skip this third question let's discuss in detail question number one and two uh, for this uh, study, we had 226 elderly rural women and could see their uh, demographic information easily. All of them were uh, 60 plus and uh, their uh, marital status was married, most of them, but some of them were widow. Education wise quite low, they were, income was not very good. And uh, if uh, we asked about their perceived life, lifestyle, so how do they perceive their lifestyle below average, average, above average, you could see in this, these two groups, no one was above average. On the other hand, Satsang, Brahm Kumaris and Radha Swami's group women observed that uh, certain percent of them had uh, above average lifestyle. These were the indicators which we have included to assess the effectiveness of this program overall happiness ideal happiness happiness after five years then uh, for their physiological changes buzz balance that is uh, you know balancing body balancing uh, measurement so like that uh, we use all these measurements here before jumping on results let's know a little bit uh, more about these groups one was field experimental group in this field experimental group we designed this uh, intervention program culturally and uh, one and a half hour program was there uh, satsang and physiotherapy as well as uh, uh, you know relaxation techniques they were supposed to do during this period once again they were supposed to do we were instructed to do satsang relaxation techniques and physiotherapy exercise which were actually learnt by Anganwadi workers and these Anganwadi workers invited them at uh, you know Anganwadi center and then they did uh, these exercises. On the other hand, we selected from the group satsang group Brahm Kumaris Radha Swami and uh, you know about all these three and can read this slide in detail to know what kind of activities they have highlighted here and these groups were compared with non-practitioner group non-practitioner group means elderly rural women from the community neither following any substantial religious activity or nor part of our field experimental group so here we wanted to study field experimental groups are better or these existing religious spiritual practices are better and uh, that was our objective in fact when we compared our delivered module versus non-practitioner uh, we observed that they had not very good results they improved self-care as well as they improved balancing body balancing on the other hand there was no impact on other physical and psychological indicators when we compared non-practitioners with satsang practitioners brahm kumaris practitioners radha swami practitioners we observed that better result than previous study here you could see satsang actually uh, their pain was higher their balancing was poor as well as their overall health status was 
poor among satsang participants compared to non practitioners and here we gave two reasons one on an average we had more older ladies in this group on the other hand doing satsang is mental exercise not physical so maybe because they are not doing physical exercise that's why poorer at physical but supporting to our results uh, mental health was better as compared to non practitioner group on the other hand you could see uh, you know um, brahm kumaris as well as radha swami groups results are better than previous studies and uh, best possible selves was better this side happiness you know happiness after 5 years best possible life physical health was better in both the groups general health was better general social activities were pursued better uh, quality of life overall quality of life was better as compared to non practitioner group so to some extent we can say on the basis of this study these women who are participating in satsang brahm kumaris or radha swami they have better mental health as compared to non practitioners in our focus group discussion we have some more highlights they wanted to move forward in life leaving behind their unhappy memories we also observed that physical diseases were the main cause of unhappiness also observed sleeplessness caused due to disturbing thoughts memories related to unfortunate happenings in family uh, feel that inner peace is most important factor for example they mentioned that sukh shanti chahiye seeking happiness and peace in religious spiritual group they observed that more focused and clarity in thoughts devoted to god simple lifestyle they had and they wanted to get knowledge spiritual knowledge especially they like to watch spiritual programs when we take into account perceived lifestyle more than 20% perceived above average lifestyle so we could connect it with autonomy they might have better autonomy as compared to a non practitioner group after joining groups they observed that better interpersonal relations in the family they had they were less agitated devotion increased and more uh, surrendered to god baba guru or the spiritual leader they were after joining the particular group these are certain uh, photographs from the field where they are learning certain exercises doctor testing their physical health some students helping us questionnaires and team which participated agree on this point there is importance of culture specific and that's where i participated and learn which i discussed with you in during happiness chapter where i discussed about lay definitions and second from jika research institute where i collaborated on the uh, part on happiness study in haryana i have participated in these three uh, projects and in all these three projects message is culture matters i think we psychologist focus on different segment of our population rather we are just studying students or studying urban population so most important question is how can we we means positive psychologist serve those who serve us and i think we should provide our intervention programs or facilities or psychological facilities to all sectors of our population so in the background of indian philosophical research and ancient religious spiritual literature today's psychology and positive psychology in india is positive psychology and indian psychology is combination that is indian positive psychology after knowing all these facts i think you would be agree on this point indian positive psychology is combination of positive psychology and indian psychology the east and the west must unite to provide one another with what is lacking and th this message help us to foster or to give more weightage to indian psychology uh, let's discuss in brief current issues and future directions in this field 
positive environments and use of technology is very important for us. So, along with positive environments like positive schooling, positive institutions, positive communities and societies, we must use technology also. I have collected this uh, recent data on uh, 13th of August. So, you could see the numbers internet users in the world total number of websites, emails and today. So, in all these data sets we could reveal need to use technology, advanced technology or positive technology in positive psychology. When we talk about various programs, there are well established programs are there. For example, the SEAL, social and uh, emotional aspects to learning. Another program is CASEL, collaborative for academic, social, emotional learning, average to A plus I discussed in de detail. When we take into account Indian setting, then the National Council of Educational Research and Training NCERT has identified the need to focus on the area of psychosocial development and life skills education of Indian uh, school students and you must be knowing about happiness curriculum in uh, Delhi schools. So, all these programs highlight role of uh, such kind of programs in school settings. Applications of positive psychology in counseling psychology is there and uh, studies saying that 47 percent to 77 percent counseling psychologists are using uh, positive psychology strategies like uh, well-being uh, therapy, quality of life therapy, positive psychology therapy, uh, hope therapy, strength centered therapy, strength based counseling they are providing. So, they are taking into account you know uh, positive psychological strategies. There are various programs in different countries going on and this uh, study is from one of the program which is quite famous program on masters in applied positive psychology. So, in this program, this has been the data from the students who were doing this program and they observed various positive aspects when they are doing such kind of program. So, similarly, we also wrote one book, Translational Research and Applied Psychology in India in this year only. And in this book, we have focused on various aspects of translational research and applied psychology in India. For example, we focused on knowledge translation as well as translational research and how these two could contribute to applied psychology. Then we discussed about various research methods could be useful in applied psychology and then domain wise uh, we, we discussed applications like applications of psychology in uh, rural India, perceived happiness and its determinants, role of religious and spiritual practices in mental health, applications of positive psychology in Indian school setting, web based interventions uh, to improve quality of life, employee well being in organization and uh, then we conclude and in the conclusion we focused on psychology and translational research where we could go in the future. Similarly, I have been talking about uh, socio-cultural uh, practices. So, uh, uh, this is one of the practice which I observed recently in Delhi and in Haryana. They decide particular day, they decide particular place and they all people get together they sing, they dance, they show various uh, creative activities. I think such kind of programs can help us to have better happiness level and uh, we should facilitate all those activities or socio-cultural practices which help us to have better well-being. This course is completed here and uh, if you want to know more about positive psychology, you could visit our association, National Positive Psychology Association. Uh, for details of all these research papers available at my website, you want to read some more research paper, please write to me and you can get all those research papers which we have published. Simultaneously, if you are a researcher and interested to use some psychological tests which have been you know adapted or uh, developed by us, please write to us. We will share our research papers on those uh, psychological tests as well as those psychological tests which you want to use in your research. So, we could share with you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.